welcome back to my channel here called living the creative life you guys know I'm a daily vlogger which means you're gonna want to check back daily often because hello I am doing paint flips here on a daily basis and serving up some creativity and today we are going to do a five, five minute flip I'll have you looking around your house going what the heck can I paint because once you start there ain't no ever going back the power of paint, baby. So I've been junking and I found myself some gorgeous candlesticks. Right here, aren't they nice? Got them at my local Goodwill. 99 cents, 2.99 and 2.99. I wanna give them some new life. And here in my store, every time I paint candlesticks, they always go. You probably have a pair of candlesticks in your house right now, right? If not, I'm gonna show you how you can find some junkin' ones on your travels and make them beautiful, or even give a new look to the ones that you have right now. I'm pulling out my Junk Monkey Chalky Style paint for this project because it sticks to pretty much everything under the sun, which means you can find stuff that's brownie frowny, that's tired, that needs some new life. You love the shape, you just bring it home and you get to grab a brush and go bananas. Nothing like putting your furniture in a little black dress. So these candles are obviously not a set, they're made of different materials, but the moment that I put a little bit of black velvet over all of them, they're gonna look very uniform. Using a shabby chip brush, you can get these on our website at junkmonkeypaint.com with all the supplies that I use here in my day-to-day -day videos. This brush will allow me to paint distressed and it will show some of the existing colors through my paint finish, which is what I'm going for. All right, just give your pieces like at least a half an hour to dry, if not sooner, if you got great airflow, and you already have the makings of a beautiful set of candle holders. Remember that design tip, things of three, let them be. Our eye loves pattern, and specifically, things of three. To take it a little bit further, to shabbify it up, I'm gonna grab a sand pad, and I'm gonna go ahead and distress some of the paint off. I do love the gold that's under here. I love the blue that's under the other one. In fact, this year, blue and gold is making a comeback. Who would have thought that we would have seen gold and brass and gold toned metal back into homes? History repeats itself and so does design styles. Let's do a question of the day, guys. What is something that you've seen come back in style that you never thought you'd ever see again? Neon colors, bell bottoms, gold fixtures. Guys, didn't these turn out fabulous? It's beautiful, and I love that blue, and I love the gold, so I allowed it to come through, and I'm super happy I did because it makes it interesting to look at. Will I seal these pieces? I don't have to, in fact, I don't think I'm going to today. Because our paint dries to a nice flat matte look, I love that primitive, rustic look that it gives me as is. And no, the paint is not going to fall off, it's gonna stay stuck. If you feel you wanna give a good protective layer to it, or you feel that like these might get a lot of use versus just looking pretty and decorative over on your mantle, grab a coat of our banana peel, brush it on, it dries to a nice clear matte finish, and it completes the look. Love, love, love. Can't wait to put these on my mantle. Yep, see, told you, nothing is safe anymore, right? Not when you can paint it all and give a whole new look to those pieces that just don't bring you joy anymore. To quote the famous, all loved, Marie Kondo. So thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. If you enjoyed this quick flip, make sure you come back again tomorrow because there's gonna be another one. And don't forget to hit the little bell because what that does is notify you every single time that I do another upload, which is daily. All right, go paint something, will ya?